Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is the show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's question comes from a house cleaner who's just getting started in the business. She's been in high school and so she doesn't have a body of work. She doesn't have a long resume and she doesn't have quality equipment. So she's driving an old beater car that her dad gave her when she learned how to drive. And she wants to know, is this car okay for house cleaning? Okay, so the car that you drive is actually an extension of your business. It's part of your brand. So if you're driving a crappy car, and let's say that the hood is duct taped together and the, tail, the headlight is busted out or something, you need to get that fixed as soon as possible. But you don't want to draw attention to it when you go to bid a job because of course, the customer is going to know what you drove up in. They looked out and said, oh yes, I have an appointment. Someone's coming to bid my house. And I see that they just arrived in a crappy car. So you have to address it, but you don't want to draw unnecessary attention to it. So here's what you do. You go in to bid the job and you say something like, I'm so blessed that you called me over. There are some things I'm improving in my life and my car is one of those things. So I really appreciate the opportunity to come bid your house so that I can upgrade my life a little bit. That's it. Don't say anything else. Okay. This is not where you explain, well, I was in an accident and I hit a deer and I can't afford the insurance. And well, my dad gave me the car. So the car is free, but I'm not making enough money as a house cleaner to actually buy a new car. Don't go into any of that. Not anyone else's business. All they need to know is that you're aware of it and you're making changes. That's it. Okay. Now, having said that, your car is an extension of you. So when you show up to a customer's house, you're going to be parked in front of their house for three or four hours while you're cleaning their house. So the kind of car that you have is super important. You want a car that says, this is what I do. And I'm really emphatic about this. It is possible. And I know I've known this to happen where there are house cleaners who drive really fancy cars. Now, the myth is that all house cleaners are broke and they can't afford a nice car. But the truth of the matter is there are house cleaners that are making six figure incomes and they have Mercedes and Lexuses in their driveway. Okay. So they're doing very, very, very well. However, you do not want to drive a Mercedes to a customer's house. Here's why you go to a customer's house and the best that they can afford is a Toyota. And then you drive up in your big fancy Escalade or your uh, Mercedes or whatever it is. And immediately they think, oh, well, there's a disconnect. My house cleaner is making more money than I'm making. I can't afford this house cleaner. And so it makes them really uncomfortable because there's this intrinsic need to keep up with the Joneses, but you don't want your, your house cleaning customers to try to keep up with you. Okay. So if your house cleaning customers are scrambling to try to keep up with you, you're not going to last. They're going to fire you and they're going to find someone else that's in their comfort zone. So for house cleaning, and this goes against everything we've been taught as far as success goes, because success is equated to having the Lexus and the Mercedes and all these fancy vehicles in our driveway. Leave those cars in your driveway and get a little car that you can use for house cleaning. For me, I've driven a Honda for years. It's an awesome car. It gets great gas mileage. It's reliable and it fits in with the persona that I'm trying to create. So I have, I have a Honda in my driveway right now. I also have a Mercedes in my driveway, but I have a Honda in my driveway right now. When I go out to do a job, guess which car I take? It's the Honda. Here's the reason why I want a car that fits in with my company image. It's clean. It's professional and it's in line with what you would expect from a house cleaner. And that is super important. Now, if the car is going to be sitting out on the curb for four hours, the car better be clean. And that's also an extension of your business. So if I come and I clean houses, but my car is filthy and you drive by and you look in my car and you see all kinds of rags and towels and newspapers and old magazines and a lunch box and a bunch of crap, again, there will be a disconnect. You will think, okay, that's weird. This person is super organized. They have a house cleaning business, but they can't even take care of their own car. So for me and everybody that work for me, we have an unlimited car cleaning package down at the, at the drive-through auto wash. 
So every day on your way to work or every other day or whenever your car gets dirty, and if you live in the South, there's lots of pollen in the air and there's like this coat of yellow green ick on the top of your car, go get it clean. Before you go clean somebody's house, go get your car clean. As you're coming home at night, go through the car wash. Take a second, dry off the windows, make it look 100%. That is an advertisement for your company. So when the neighbors drive by and they're like, whoa, there's that really shiny little car again. Oh yes, that's the house cleaner. That is an extension of you. If you can't afford a nice car and you're driving an old rattle trap that's falling apart and it's replace it as soon as you can. You can go to just about any car dealership and you can get a really nice little car. It doesn't have to be new even. It just has to be clean and it has to fit the image for a couple hundred bucks a month. And if you're cleaning houses and you have one or two clients, that will pay for the car. But upgrade your car as soon as is absolutely possible because that is a brand extension. That is a reflection of you. When you show up to a customer's house, you don't, you don't want them thinking, well, their car is all banged up. Are they irresponsible? Were they drinking and driving? How come they didn't get it fixed? Are they not responsible enough to fix their broken car? Are they broke? Do they not have any money? I mean, this is a lot of questions going through a customer's mind that you don't, you don't want to answer, okay? You don't want to answer questions that, that you don't have to. So just upgrade it as soon as you possibly can. So does your car matter? Yes, it matters a whole lot. And so do the very best you can to upgrade your image, but keep it in alignment with what is expected of the job. All right, that's it for today. If you like this tip, please pass it along, tweet it, pin it, post it, share it. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.